So if you're a small business owner that's got revenue of 150K and you wanna grow and build your business, you have to watch this video. In this video, I'm gonna share with you all the problems with the, what I call the 10K experiment. It's the four things that go badly wrong when you hire your first salesperson, and what you need to do to avoid it. So if you're an ambitious business owner, watch this video, take the advice on board so we can make sure that if you're bringing your new first salesperson on board, that you get the right reaction and result rather than the 10K experiment. My name's James White, small business sales expert, man that helps specialist service companies become brilliant business successes and double their turnover. Let's have a look at the video and check what you need to do to put the four things in place to avoid this happening. So the 10K experiment is a common issue I see with small business owners who wanna grow and scale. What happens is they look to bring someone on board, maybe in the cost per month tends to be, I don't know, two and a half, three thousand pounds. And then at the end of that three month period, because you're gonna give them three months because you're a nice company, things haven't quite worked out. And that 10K cost has basically delivered no return for your business and it's become an experiment that puts you off hiring a salesperson and grow into the way you want to. So what causes that to happen? The first issue is expectations. When I talk to business owners about what they expect from a 25K a year salesperson, even with commission plans on top, their expectations are just not realistic. They want this person to be exactly like them. They want them to have the exact same skills as them. They want them to bring on board exactly the same clients as them. And every salesperson and person is different. As a business owner, you should be and are the best salesperson in your company. Whilst it's great to be able to bring people on board and give them the right support to be successful, you've got to make sure your expectations are realistic. Were you generating £100,000 a year or £200,000 a year just by yourself? Probably the answer is no. So don't have an expectation that's over and above what that salesperson will be able to do. The key thing with salespeople is you've got to be clear on the expectations of what you want them to show in the first one week, four weeks, and 12 weeks that help make you think, yeah, this person's a match for my company and can actually offer value to us going forward. In those first 12 weeks, they're probably not gonna be able to achieve massive numbers and targets. They're getting used to working in your business. Be clear about your expectations and really focus on making sure that that person there gets a good chance to be successful in your company. If you don't, you're going to put high expectations in place, they're not going to deliver to it and it's going to cause a problem and start the ball rolling on this 10k failure which we want to avoid. So the second mistake that so many business owners make is relating to the choice of person they bring on board. There was a great saying I was told a few weeks ago, and I just, I use it, and I think it's so relevant when it comes to hiring new people in your business. They said to me, you're better to have a hole than an asshole in your business. And the reality is it's so true when it comes to sales. Do you really want to choose anyone just because you want to fill that gap because you feel it's important to bring a salesperson in, or is it important you bring the right person in? that is the right fit for your company, that has the right culture, the right attitude, the right skills, the ability to do what you want them to do. And I see so many business owners that make bad choices about the person they want to bring in because they have this sense of urgency or because they haven't planned it enough in advance to know what's going to happen and they end up making rash decisions which then cost them later down the line. The 10K experiment happens often because we've got people that just are not right the fit for our business. There may be a salesperson in a larger organization that struggles to work in a sales situation from a smaller company. Or maybe they're used to hot leads coming through on a regular basis and what your business needs to do is go and find those leads. Whatever the situation, you've got to plan out what is the right person for your company. And it's something we help with and do within the Small Business Sales Academy. But the most important thing is don't just choose anyone. Take your time. Another great saying I was told once was hire slow, fire fast. So if you want to bring people in that are the perfect fit for your business, be choosy. Make sure you know they're going to be a good fit. Ask to speak to references. Get other people in your company to interview them. Maybe even get your partner or people that know you well to interview them to see if they'll be a fit for who you are. The biggest mistakes happen is when we bring people in that just aren't a fit. And when it does, it basically is a destined for failure. We're going to end up spending this 10K and not getting the value that we want make the right choices when it comes to appointing the salespeople that you want for your business and if you're halfway there to making them a success in your company. 
So the third mistake that business owners make in the 10K experiment is they've appointed someone and then they don't onboard them properly. What do I mean by onboarding a salesperson? It means in the first maybe one to four weeks, how are you gonna prepare for that person to be a success? How are you gonna make sure that they get the right training? How are they gonna make sure that they get the right insights into your company? How are they gonna get the time with you as a business owner to be successful? What is the tools they're gonna use? Maybe the framework that they're gonna run with in order to be successful. Maybe the list of questions that you use. I speak to lots of business owners that have brilliant sales success and are great because they know it up here, but they don't create the blueprint and the framework for their salespeople to be successful. And what happens is that because they don't have this framework to work to, the salesperson ends up just doing what they think is right, not what has worked. Brilliant businesses, and we help people do this. And if you are in this situation where you're thinking, I haven't got those elements in place, reach out. We can support you at the Small Business Sales Academy to help you do this. But onboard people effectively. Have a plan for the first two to four weeks of what's going to happen. Yeah, sure, some of that is going to be that person getting used to things and trying things out. But don't expect them to come in on day one and day two suddenly start making calls when they don't know your company, your products, your services, how you work, how you operate, and they haven't been given any training. Growth is driven by us preparing in the right way, creating a blueprint for success, and then giving the person the time and support to make that happen. Onboarding is critical if you want to avoid the 10K experiment. Make sure you do. If you don't, you're going to lose money. So my fourth and final point when it comes to the 10K experiment is this, mentoring. Yes, James, you might say, well, you're a sales mentor. Is this a pitch for your business? No, I couldn't care if you use me or anyone. But don't expect a salesperson to come into your business if you're not gonna then mentor and support them to be successful. What do I mean by mentoring them? Listen to their calls, follow up with them, maybe at certain times to see how they're getting on. Maybe attend meetings with them or attend calls with them. Support them in what they're doing. Spend extra time on training with them. Be in a position where you encourage them when they've done something well, or maybe pick them up on something they've done badly. Mentoring is all about giving the support on a regular basis to the salesperson so that they can become that success. And I see so many business owners that bring someone in and then just let them be. They think that that salesperson, because they're paying them this money, they should be successful. And it doesn't work like that. We have to mentor and support people to get success. That's why we created a Teams product in our Small Business Academy for people to join so that we can provide them the mentoring if you don't have time to. But the reality is this, if you don't mentor them and if you don't give them that help and support, the chances of success for them and the ability to win the business that you want them to is gonna diminish. And I want to avoid that because, again, you've put this time and effort in and all that's going to happen is you're going to get frustrated as a business owner that you've put this 10K in and not got the results you wanted. So make sure you're mental, make sure you're on board, make sure you make the right choice and make sure that you've got realistic expectations on what this salesperson is going to bring you. And if you take this advice on board, I guarantee you, you stand a better chance of that person being successful more importantly, the investment that you're making in a new salesperson to drive ambitious growth for your company is going to pay off. I want it to. I've seen it go wrong. I've seen it be successful. If you want to reach out to me on the comment section below, I can give you some advice and ideas. And we've even got a download that we're going to share on how you can appoint the right salesperson for your business. But take these four points into, into consideration. If you don't, you're going to waste money. You're going to waste 10K on an experiment that sends you backwards, not forwards. And I don't want that for you and your business. My name's James Watt, I'm a small business sales expert. I'm the founder of the Small Business Sales Academy. Let me and my team support you as you bring this new person on board and get your business to achieve the growth and goals that you want it to. We can make it happen. Let's do that. Let's get great salespeople on board. Let's mentor on board them and give them support to be incredibly successful and see your business grow to the next level. Thanks for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to the channel. Share it with others, other people you know that are bringing a salesperson on board and let's help them avoid the same mistakes and avoid this 10K experiment. Thanks for watching. See you really soon.